So in today's video, it's about this module here called uh, Formant. What does it do and why do you need it and how to apply it to your patch and you know all the surrounding questions, of course. So the help of Bitwig Studio says here, it amplifies the incoming signal around 0 0.5. And this module does exactly that. So this doesn't give you any information, right? This, what does it mean? So we use a face in here and to use an oscilloscope. Uh, let's see, put this here into, yeah, slow mode is okay. So this, this is how the ramp signal looks like here from the phase in, um, unchanged. So nothing is, no, no change is applied here with the format module. But when we turn this up, you can see the shape of the ramp changes. Everything that's above 0 0.5, which is here the middle line between 0 and 1, it's 0 0.5 here, gets amplified positively, right? It's deeper. And everything below 0 0.5 gets amplified negatively, so or de-amplified, however I want to call it. So you can kind of make the ramp steeper in a way, right? If you pull this back here, you can see we have the normal reversed ramp here playing from the face in. Also, if you go here in the negative range, we make the ramp kind of flat. So everything around 0 0.5, which is here, gets deamplified. So the 1 is not going to 1 anymore and the 0 is not going down to, to 0 anymore. So you have a much, much flatter uh, phase signal. So you can play around with this, right, and can kind of modify phase signals. That's why it's a phase module and that's why it's in the phase uh, category here on top, right? So. Um, why do we need it? So the first use case is, of course, uh, for the phase signal. So let's say we have a sine oscillator here and we use an ADSR and we use an output here and we want to use an oscilloscope to watch what the waveform does. We put this here into pitch mode, maybe extend this here a bit. Um, and then we want to use Instead of the internal phase um, generation here, we use an external phase input. So we switch this here to zero, right? So we need an input. And as an input, we use a phaser. Uh, phaser. And the phaser generates a phase signal at the pitch we are using here with the keyboard. So we can go into that, but we go before that into the format here. So this one just generates uh, ramp signals, but in the pitch of the uh, key press or what's coming from the piano roll or whatever. Uh, we use also here uh, the restart. We go into that and we use here 100%. And if we play something on the keyboard, you can see in here, it's just a regular sine wave. So everything is as before, but here instead in of Instead of using the internal phase generation, we use an external phase generation, and then we use between that and the sign, we use a format to change the phase uh, signal. And because we are changing the phase signal here with this format thing, you can see the lookup module then recalls the values from the uh, wavetable. Um, lookup module here differently so we get a different waveform in the end, right? And this module is probably nice on the sine module if you want to generate some trumpet sounds or some kind of vocalish, vocally sounds. <laughs> right, this, it has this kind of vocal quality to the sound if you use it here on the phase signal. So that's what I guess where the name comes from. Probably also because of the overtones you generate with that. Let's see here. So I guess the name comes from the uh, formats you generate here with this. But I don't know, to be honest, I have no idea. Um, 
So this is one use case here. You can do nice bass sounds with this, nice wobble bass sounds, right? If you modulate this here with an LFO maybe, uh, let's go for a beat LFO. Another interesting part is that if you exchange the sign here for, let's say, um, a pulse, and if you watch here the waveform, right, it's almost like a pulse width modulation. So you can change here the pulse width with this. It's the same effect as when you use here this knob. So in a way, you do bulls width on the sign, which doesn't have a knob for that. It does basically the same thing to the waveform. So let's try it here on a triangle, how this sounds. And let's try here the saw. So, um, yeah, it's a nice way of creating some different sounds with the sine oscillator here, with different oscillators that don't feature, um, you know, for instance, boost with modulation and so on. So it's, for me, it's nice for wobble basses because I'm doing drum bass, you know, I'm coming from drum bass, so I'm interested in that. Um, another interesting way of using this is if you try and wrap um, the audio signal coming out of the sign into the phase range. So here you can see the audio signal is always between minus one and plus one. And this is a phase module and the phase module only acts in a range of zero and one right from here to here. So what we can do is we can use here from the level category, we can use the by to uni conversion, right? So you can see now here the audio signal goes from zero to one. So it's the phase range. So we can apply now here the format to that. Nothing really changes besides the color. And then we can go back here to uni to buy and convert it back into the audio range, right? From minus one to plus one. So now this is kind of an audio effect. And when you use this here on that, it does exactly the same thing. It changes everything or amplifies everything between or at 0 0.5. But because we converted this here to, uh, to a, a B signal, by signal, right? A, a signal that goes from minus one to plus one. Now the center is zero. So everything above and zero gets now amplified in a certain way. So we have almost like a wave shaper or clipper, but it's kind of different from a clipper. So when we use here the clip module on that and pull this down, you can see we only just cut off everything here above a certain threshold like this. But this kind of line here uh, stays the same. It's the same steepness. But with the format here, we can change the steepness of the signal, right? So it's a kind of a different way of clipping the signal. And the difference is it has a different sound to it. It's a, it has a different sounds, different overtones, so it depends on, you know, what you want to do. But just so you have an idea how to use this module. So this, this is why I wanted to make this video. And also someone in my Discord asked the question, 
what the fuck is this module? Why do I why do I need it? What it is for, right? So this is the explanation, more or less. Um, it amplifies the incoming signal around 0 0.5. That's the explanation. Um, so like I said, I use it sometimes for making wobble bass sounds. So if we create just some kind of bass sound here. And then you can modulate this here. And then maybe a bit of um, bending here. Let's go 12. Oh, that's better. So yeah, it's nice for wobble basses, it's nice for trumpet sounds, and you can maybe also use it here as a clipper and uh, shape or wave shape the audio signal, okay? So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave some questions in the comments below. Uh, and maybe you have some other ideas how to use this module. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and i see you in the next video. Bye.